Welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. We are going to have a really quick look at how to configure SNMP server community strings on the Brocade ICX devices. So um, we can do anything from SNMP version 1 to V2C to V3. Uh, however, we default to V2C. So that's what we're going to cover today. Uh, if you want to do v3, then you certainly can. You need to set up users and views and, and engine IDs and things like that. So it's, it's a much more complicated setup, but that's definitely possible. But for just basic community strings, uh, we'll go into config T. And the command is snmp-server. Uh, and then you've got multiple things. You can disable or enable the server. You can set up all the v3 things. Um, views, etc. But in this case, we're just going to set up community strings. Um, oops, helps if I could spell that. Okay, so um, and then we're going to put in whatever your, you want your string to be, right? Please don't use private and public. Um, so we'll say, I don't know, just for example purposes, we're going to say. This is right. This is read write. How's that? Uh, and then it's followed by what kind of string you want—a read-only access or a read-write access. So in this case, we want it to be read-write. And then that's really all we need. But if you want to add additional things, you can use um, a uh, an ACL number. So let's say we wanted to apply an ACL and only allow certain users or certain subnets to access this device. We could use a standard ACL. We could use an IPv6 ACL. Uh, we could use a, a view. So we could we could uh, restrict the community to a named MIB view. Um, so there's there's some other things you can do in there. But that's all we need for the basics. So we're just going to set that to read write. Uh, and then we'll create another one. So SNMP server community um, This is read only and we will just call that RO. So that's the basics. That's all we need to do to get a basic SNMP server community up and running. So beyond that uh, refer to your manual, but that's uh, that's good for now. So thanks for joining.